Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I want to talk about my digital art style. So this video has been requested several times by you guys, so this is it. The main illustration app that I use is Concepts, and this app is available on Android tablets, iPads, and Windows devices. I actually have two styles. Um, this is the digital art style. My other style is the traditional art style where I use pen, ink, and watercolor. And this style is actually quite straightforward. I just draw the lines and apply watercolor on top. You may notice many of the sketches are actually of architecture. That's because I like to draw architecture and I am into urban sketching. So some of these sketches were actually drawn on location, such as this one, which was drawn inside a skateboard shop. The main difference between traditional, my traditional style and the digital art style, as you can see, is with watercolor, you get to be more expressive. The colors are more lively and there are a lot of surprises. And even with the pen that you use when you draw, sometimes those extra ink blobs, uh, splatter marks, they really add to the character, to the liveliness of the scene. Now with digital art, I also try to recreate the splatter and the texture. So you can see here on the ground, I have some splatter marks. And also in the sky, I have these uh, textured clouds and the sky, basically just to make the digital art look less digital. But the thing is, with my particular style, the art will still look very digital due to the app that I use, which is Concepts, which is a vector illustration app. So when you zoom in all the way, you will see the lines, they will still be very sharp. And I like this flat coloring style. So you can see this is just one shape of blue and this is another shape, a vertical rectangle. And within this shape, there is no color transition unlike watercolor where you can have different colors within the same uh, color. So with vector art, with my digital art, I usually go with flat style coloring. Let me just zoom out of this uh, scene to let you take a look at the overall sketch. This is how the sketch looks when I zoom out. So there is white space all around the sketch because this app features an infinite canvas. So if I want to, I can actually continue to draw on and on endlessly. But I decided to just end here with this composition and I have the lines fade out to the white of the canvas. Let me just turn off some of the layers for you to see. So usually when I work digitally, I only work with a few layers. There's one layer for the line art, another layer for color, third layer for the background, fourth layer for the plants, and the fifth layer for textures, and that's pretty much it. I usually don't use more than 10 layers. I would consider my line art style to be quite simple. It's just, well, lines. And the lines are not perfectly straight because if they are perfectly straight, they can look too rigid and they won't have the hand-drawn quality to them. So my lines are usually quite wobbly and I would say this sketch is not super detailed um, as in I did not draw a lot of details. Um, I did draw many elements which makes it look busy but it's not it's actually not that detailed. So let me apply the colors on top. The coloring is quite simple as well it's just flat coloring. One thing I really like about this app is the app uses this Copic coloring system, and for some reason, um, it's very easy, more easy to achieve color harmony compared to using watercolor. 
with watercolor you do need to know the paint the pigments that you use and certain pigments will mix well together and certain colors will work well with other colors uh, for example with color contrast you can have orange against blue but certain orange will look better against a certain blue with concepts for some reason um, if you just pick the colors from this color wheel most of the colors will work very well together and that is quite um, quite nice and I usually have one empty layer right at the top so when I open my files and I accidentally touch something or draw something I know that the extra unwanted strokes will be on the empty layer and I can just select that layer and just clear that layer and basically it will not affect my art so that empty layer right at the top is actually a protective layer let's take a look at other sketches or oh, maybe this one here so this is actually line art as well just that there are colors applied beneath the line art so if i show you the colors and not the line art you can see um, it actually still looks all right it still looks recognizable just that there are no lines and if I place the line art you can see there is the extra contrast you can see the form more clearly it is possible to draw this without line art but you have to do some planning in advance and you have to plan how you overlap the elements because this app um, the shapes the colors are actually drawn with shapes so you have to stack them on top of one another in the correct sequence i'll show you uh, what i mean later on with a tutorial and this is the same style as the sketch you saw earlier and this one as well this is also line art yep so this is also line art with colors beneath let's take a look at this again same thing line art with colors beneath as much as possible I would like to let me just move this thing out no, no it doesn't matter let's keep it there as much as possible I like to have a mix of line art with colored shapes so if you look here um, i have line art but i also have colored shapes so for the clouds i actually don't draw the outline for the clouds i just use shapes to create the clouds and sometimes i will use shapes to create buildings in the background as well let's take a look at this oh this is my neighborhood that i used to stay at and this is also line art let's remove the colors yeah so this is also line art this was drawn with Google Earth reference so this was quite challenging to draw because there are so many details um, so for sketches like this I would just start in one area and draw and expand draw and expand and with this um, sketch I also have some captions uh, pointing to where I stay uh, the areas that I go to my school the stadium the train station so this sketch is a mix of line art and shapes there are more shapes here without line art compared to my other sketches so let me just turn off the line art first so you can see this sketch actually will still work without the line art and let me turn off the colors you know what let me just turn off everything so we have the clouds the shapes of the clouds the shapes of the awning the signs the ground floor for the shops the shadows these are all shapes 
and we have some background buildings remember earlier i said i sometimes don't draw the outline for the buildings in the background yep so i would just draw the shape maybe add a side shadow to create the form the physical form of the building and add some little details like this like windows to suggest that this is a building sometimes when i draw buildings i may draw the outline for the windows and color the windows individually i realized that that is quite tedious so now if i want to draw windows i would just draw the shapes of the windows instead of the outline followed by coloring the windows this is much faster and for windows like this uh, which are in the background you don't have to add so much details but for windows in the foreground like this uh, windows here for the shop houses in front you can see the window you can see the window frame you can also see the grills but for windows in the background you just need to draw them as vertical rectangles if you draw uh, vertical rectangles here for the windows in front it will look it will make the sketch look unfinished because of the lack of details so this is a style that i like this is a mix of line art with solid shapes as colors or colors as solid shapes and here on the right side i have this um, this traffic sign overlaid on top of the street so this creates the foreground and background feel I prefer to draw architecture and interior and I prefer to draw on location which is why you don't see me draw character designs or portraits that often this was a sketch inside a restaurant this was drawn on location and I believe I started drawing here in the middle and drew to the left side and then drew to the right side that's my wife and we were having uh, our lunch here at this restaurant so it's quite fun to draw outdoors and in this case I was using the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 this tablet is the Samsung Tab S8 Ultra the files the concept files are interchangeable on Android and Windows but if you use the if you use concepts on iPad the files from the iPad cannot be imported onto Android and Windows the line art for this is much thinner compared to the sketches that I have just shown you let me just turn off the colors and not only are the lines thinner the lines are also textured so this is the pencil brush that I really like because the texture looks really nice and I also have this textured paper canvas and the colors are well flat style coloring so it's a mix of flat coloring and uh, textured pencil lines I'm not sure if this style works uh, let me just turn off the pencils mm, yeah I think it works kind of works but I would prefer to use the pencils with textured coloring instead of flat style coloring but in this case uh, it still works let me show you what I mean by pencils with textured coloring so this is my daughter Tiffany under my table and this is the same pencil brush you saw earlier we have the nice textured look and this is the textured coloring that I'm referring to yeah so this is the pastel brush that I used to color the thing with concepts is the layers will be created automatically for you depending on the tools you use so if you use the pen they will create a layer for the pen and when you draw all those lines will go to the pen layer so when you choose pencil the new layer 
will be created for pencils and if you use some other uh, coloring brushes a new layer will be created for that coloring brush so it's actually quite convenient when it comes to drawing because sometimes when I'm drawing I switch between the pencil and I switch to color and when I switch the tools the layers uh, will switch automatically the focus on the layers will switch automatically so for example I can be coloring here and I realized there is some details that I had forgotten to draw so I will just switch to the brush and the let me just show you I'll just switch to brush and the layer focus will switch to that layer and when I want to color again a new layer is created or the focus will switch to the coloring layer so that is uh, quite useful this is one feature that you don't usually see with other drawing apps so this is my other style the more textured style with textured lines and textured coloring and I like the style as well this is Tiffany when she is one years old same thing we have textured lines and textured coloring and notice my coloring style uh, it's usually just uh, the main color followed by shading for shadow to create a form and sometimes if there is more information that I want to convey I may add highlights so it's just the main color with the shadow or the main color with the shadow and highlights so my style is actually very simple to create a sketch like this doesn't take too much time this is vector style with solid lines with clean lines sharp edges shapes we have half tone here and very flat style coloring so the half tone is used to give the impression that these are shadow areas or darker areas but i also have these uh, shapes here to create the impression of shadows with this app i like to mix and match uh, different style just to just to try new things so this is line art with flat style coloring and half tone for texture and for shadows this app actually has many brushes you can choose from or many different types of textured brushes this is concepts on the ipad same thing here it's just line art with flat coloring style and i have this random shapes in the background to suggest the uh, houses one question that I get frequently is whether I prefer to draw on the iPad versus on a Samsung tablet or the Surface Pro. Well, I prefer to draw on the Samsung tablet and also on my Surface Pro because the concepts files on Android and Windows are interchangeable. The concepts file on the iPad cannot be open on Android and Windows so I actually wanted to bring this over to the Android tablet but I cannot because the file format here is concept the file format for Android and Windows is concepts let's take a look at another sketch um, this was drawn with the help of a reference photo so this is the color you can see again the two color scheme the main color with the shade for the shadow so this is this can be considered the anime coloring style so for animation they usually have the main color with shadow colors and maybe highlight so this is a style you can draw and create very quickly for the chair um, this was drawn with orange lines instead of black lines and one thing about concepts is you can change the coloring style quite easily so I actually have the chair on its separate layer so I can actually select this chair select the lines for the chair and change the color of the chair just like that to maybe blue perhaps yeah this is possible because this app is based on vectors and I can select the lines and change the colors 
of the lines very easily. This is not something you can do easily with Procreate or other raster drawing apps. And also note that my coloring style is quite loose, so I'm not very particular about coloring, sorry, I'm not very particular about coloring within the lines. So you can see the colors sometimes will come out of the lines. And this color was actually drawn as a shape. The one downside to concepts is there is no fill bucket too. So I can't actually draw a shape and fill colors. I have to draw this shape manually. By the way, if you guys want to learn more about concepts, if you are a beginner and you want to know the ins and outs, the shortcuts for concepts, do check out the courses, the online courses that I have on Skillshare. The links are in the video description below. Uh, for these courses, I teach you how to draw with line and color. I will show you how to draw with solid lines, with flat style coloring. I will also show you how to draw with textured pencils, with textured coloring. And I also show you how to draw with shapes. So there are three styles I would say you can create uh, with concepts, three of the many different styles you can create with concepts. I also have some free concepts tutorials on YouTube, which I will link in the video description below. And now I want to show you my workflow with concepts. So this is a sketch, a street scene that I was drawing halfway. I'm using this, what is this? This is the pen brush which does not have pressure sensitivity. The good thing about concepts is you can use any stylus even if that stylus does not have pressure sensitivity. But of course, if you have pressure, you will get the line variation, but you don't need to use a pen with pressure. Concepts works well with all types of stylus. It's just that if you don't have uh, a pressure sensitive stylus, then you won't get those thin and thick lines, which is fine actually. Okay, so here I am going to continue my sketch. I'm using uh, I'm drawing with the help of a reference photo. So I just draw basically the line art here. You can see my lines are wobbly, it's okay. As long as, I'm not too particular about the exact likeness. What I want here is to be able to capture the scene uh, well enough that for someone looking at the sketch, uh, they will know instantly that, oh, this is the place um, in Singapore. So let's just draw. I don't have a screen protector. I don't have a matte screen protector on this tablet. So this is the Samsung S Pen with the rubberized pen tip, which works well enough for me for drawing. It's not too slippery and it glides uh, quite well on this glass surface. Let me add some uh, details here. This is shop number 18. They have a sign here. And we have another pillar here, it seems. Notice the ink blobs. These are actually from the pen, from this pen. So these are actually uh, software uh, ink blobs, which looks pretty nice. I like them. I like the random uh, ink blobs that you can get with this pen. But I also like to draw with the textured pencil, which looks really nice. The look and feel that you get with clean uh, lines with sharp edges and uh, versus Textured pencil lines is going to be very different. Okay, so these are some buildings in the background. We also have some tall buildings in the background. Maybe I can draw them uh, much faster. 
otherwise this video is going to be like too long I believe this video is already too long we have some air conditioning units nope that's too big let's draw this smaller yep so this sketch actually has uh, I just realized that this scene actually has too many things for me to draw so I'm not sure if I should fast forward this section maybe I should because um, this sketch is probably going to take me about an hour to draw yeah but here I'm doing a very quick uh, version of this sketch you know what I'm not going to draw the windows remember earlier I said that I can just uh, draw the shapes for the windows so if I can draw the shapes for the windows I will not want to draw the line art for the windows yep that should help me save some time okay um, this is I think the line art is almost done this is a very simplified version of the scene and I've already added some uh, colors let me show you how I add the colors I will use this shape tool which is called the fill tool and I would draw the shape the downside of this app is there is no fill bucket tool so if you want to color you have to draw the shapes and if you want to layer the colors on top of one another you have to think about the order of layering which I will show you very soon okay let's uh, show you the layer of ordering the ordering of layer uh, let's have this warm brown color here so for this building in the background it's this warm gray so notice how I'm drawing the shape to color this if you want to color within the lines you have to be more careful but for this sketch I'm going with the looser style so it's okay to have colors moving outside of the line boundary if you really want to be very careful and color within the lines uh, it's going to take a lot of time okay so we have one white shape there we have the white staircase here the white door the white balcony um, another white door here some white elements here and we have the windows that I did not draw earlier one two um, three four and I can color the windows with the same warm color maybe a darker version of the warm color so instead of drawing the line art and filling the colors I drew the shapes like that it's so much easier and to add shadow beneath this area I'm using this warm gray I'm going to add some shadows beneath the air conditioning units as well and here as well so for this sketch I will not be using any highlights it's just color and shadow here as well uh, no. here as well I need to add more details here for the windows by the side I'll just represent them with compressed vertical lines let's go back to coloring and go back to the layer I have the layer set as manual so I have to select the layers manually to make sure that I'm coloring in the correct <laughs> layer okay uh, believe it or not this sketch is almost complete and I need probably need to add more colors here in the background like this yep um, maybe some gray 
neutral gray for the areas that are in shade to represent the shadows maybe some blue here for the awning I am now uh, picking colors randomly oops this brush is too thick so that's the pressure brush which is why the lines are so thick but I don't need to use the pressure brush for this particular sketch let me just undo uh, finger gestures work really well uh, with this app on iPad, Android and Windows there's a 7-Eleven here um, another shop here I can add, oh this needs to be red as well so let me switch over I can create different shortcuts here so let me just create one red shortcut here is this the same red? nope, this is a darker red there is a uh, okay just the same rate that I use there is an eyedropper but I rarely use uh, the way the eyedropper works here is a bit different from other eyedroppers okay let's add more shadows you can create different colored shortcuts here and switch between the different colored shortcuts so you don't have to keep opening the color palette to switch so that will save you some time for example now if I want to use red I can just click on this shortcut and use red here and if I want to use black let me create a black shortcut um, like this for the windows here and switch to the gray for the shadows here and for this building in the background maybe I want it to be you know what for the building in the background I'm going to delete the lines yep and I'm going to draw the shape for that building I'm going to have a cool uh, blue shape this one here looks all right um, a more neutralized shape sorry because I don't want the blue to blend with the sky that I'm going to draw later so this is the shape of the hotel in the background and I'm going to use a darker shade to draw the nope I'm going to use this what is this a slightly darker color to draw the shadow side am I right is this the shadow side um, I'm actually not too sure where the sunlight is coming from the sunlight may be coming from directly in front so there is no obvious shadow side the shadow side is actually behind the building so in this case here I'm just going to draw the windows like this oops um, now I'm using the shape brush so I cannot draw the line art so I have to think in shapes and when I draw other windows I have to think in shapes and also make sure that the perspective is correct um, let's have a lighter nope I need to make sure that the color is more obvious let's have white there are some windows to suggest there are windows here on this building and switch back to the color where was I on oh, this if I remember correctly okay this does not need to be that precise does not need to be that detailed let's move to the red again oops where's the red let's move back to the red bring back the shadow to make the workflow uh, faster it's really best to have all those shortcut colors here let me switch um, put this uh, shortcut here this is the darker red color mm, no nope, not dark enough let's have yep this looks does this look all right let's try mm, the red does not look dark enough This one, yeah, 
Yeah, so now I'm trying to create a shadow. I just need a color that is much darker. Okay, this color looks all right. So now I can paint the shadow here and here and here. I can also create some shadows here, um, some uh, shadows here and some here. Okay, so this sketch is almost done. Uh, let me just add some more details here. You can see this area here, it's just blank. It looks out of place. So here I'm going to add some windows, some line art. Maybe there's a staircase here. I say maybe because I am not copying the reference photo exactly. Okay, um, right. Maybe another building here in the background. Um, no, I'm going to add the, let's see what I have here. I have some plants here as well that I've already drawn. Um, I have some trees here that I have already drawn, uh, but I don't actually like the trees, so I will want to redraw this. Let me just delete the trees and redraw the trees. I will want to have the thicker, um, the, what's that? The tree trunk, like this. Mm, does it stand out? So this is line art. Uh, maybe I can use a shape instead. Use a shape for the tree trunk instead so that it will stand out a bit more. Yep, I think it stands out a bit more like this. Another tree here in the background. And maybe um, a lighter shade of color on the side, on the left side. Yeah, this color looks great. So we have this, oops, we have this lighter shape on the left side to suggest light on the left side. And now I can switch to the leaves, the leaves here. So the leaves are not drawn with line art the leaves are drawn with shapes. As mentioned earlier, I like to mix line art with shapes so that you can make your sketch look more interesting. If your sketch is just line art um, with flat coloring, um, it's not as interesting compared to line art with flat coloring with shapes. And I will probably need to make this much darker. Yeah, just to add some shapes. The darker shapes, the darker leaves are not that obvious. So to make the darker shapes more obvious, I will probably want to create some highlights. Yeah. I can just create some highlights with um, lighter greens, or in this case, maybe a yellow. Mm, let's see. Does it work? Maybe a lighter green. Maybe that yellow is, or maybe this, nope. Maybe something uh, yellow green. Yeah, I think this green looks nice. This. So I'm just going to add some yellow green here and there in the sketch. Like this. Just to create some variety. Okay, I think this looks better. And we can add, let's create a new layer for the sky. For the sky, I will just draw a shape. Let's see what blue um, I want to use today. 
Uh, maybe this one. Mm, I think this looks good. So notice as I draw over, um, we have the blue here as well, which is what I do not want. So I just want to draw in this top area here and make sure the blue does not go over the white. Okay, let me just push the sky all the way to the back and I can add some textured clouds. For textured clouds, uh, let's put the clouds on a separate layer. Let's choose the brush we need for the textured clouds. Um, sponge dab. Let's have the clouds white, of course. Okay, this looks fine. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, this looks fine. We have the textured clouds here, um, here, and here, here as well. And lastly, is it lastly? I want to draw some buildings in the background. Let's draw it with a white shape. Where is the white? Okay, we have one shape here, like this. Okay, and another shape here like this. Um, this third shape will not be white, it's slightly gray. Um, it comes down at a slight angle like this. And oops. okay. And now I can draw the windows. Let me just rotate it like this so that I can draw the windows more easily. I am going to use lines for the windows instead. Let's make the line thicker. Yep. So sometimes I use shapes, sometimes I use lines. Okay, let's have the lines continue here. There is, uh, I still need to draw this area here. Um, make it darker here. Oops, wrong. Yep, this is the correct one. And another one here. And this is white. And switch back to the brush earlier to create those lines. Okay. There is another building here on the right side. Um, yeah, maybe I should draw that. No, wrong. I need to move this building to the left side. Mm. You know what? I think I shall just stop here because drawing that very tall building on the right side. Mm, I guess it. I guess it's not necessary. But I do want to add more details uh, here so that I can zoom in like this when I do a screenshot. So I'm going to add some details here uh, from my imagination. So now I'm going off script. Now I'm just drawing some details here from my imagination just to add some uh, extra details. Maybe uh, some people here as well, and here as well. I can't remember how this building here uh, actually looks. Um, yeah, it's difficult to, for me to remember because I haven't been to this place for a long time. Um, the thing about drawing on location is if you have been drawing at a certain location for a very long time, you will sort of remember how the buildings look and you can draw those buildings from your imagination. Okay, um, let's... Oops, let me select the blue. I want to, I want to extend the blue over. No, I should be using the selection brush. Yeah. I want to use the selection brush to see what blue I'm using. Yep, OK. 
Okay, I think this is it. Maybe I can draw uh, another lamppost here. Um, should I use white for the lamppost? No, I should draw more windows here. Because there are a lot more details here. And this area here is also in shade. So I may just want to use a very dark color, a dark purple here to draw this shape. This is the wrong layer. Um, so after I draw this shape here, I need to bring back the highlight. So as mentioned, the ordering is quite important. This area here is going to be black. Yep, we have some black windows here as well. And I think this is pretty much done. I can add some textures. So let me just create a new layer above for textures and just add some textures on the ground. I can also use the splatter mark if a uh, splatter brush if I want to. Maybe I can create some texture on the trees here. And um, some additional details for this shop here. Oh, there is actually a signboard there, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. The thing is, uh, with drawing, you will not be able to uh, include everything. So there is actually a traffic sign here, but I did not include that as well. All right, so this is the completed sketch. It's a very simplified, stylized version of the scene and this is the version that i have created with procreate on the ipad this was drawn on location and this was drawn with the help of a reference photo so the styles um, you see here are different this is a very clean style this is a more uh, sketchy textured style uh, let me just zoom in closer for you to see the brush that i use is textured brush okay so the brush that i use here is textured brush and you can see within the colored shape there are additional colors and also additional lines so on the ground here you can see the textured marks and you can see a lot more details like the signs in front of the shops and there is the street sign or the traffic sign that i told you earlier that i did not draw here and i have the name of the shop here there are logo here, which I did not draw here. So I actually left out a lot of details for this. And notice for the windows, um, this um, black area here was just drawn with vertical lines like this. But for this window, it's um, a solid flat shape. So this is very clean. This style is very clean, but this style it's very textured. So the look and feel, um, even though these two scenes are of the same building, the look and feel is very different. And which do I prefer? Um, I like both. <laughs> I like both. And you can see the line art in the background. So for the lines in the background, I drew them with very thin lines and also the colors are not as vibrant compared to the colors in the foreground. And here on the ground level, you can see there are more information. There's more information. Uh, we have this colored pillars. 
We can also see the plants here, the chairs, and the person standing there, which is actually a statue. Uh, we have all these little details. But for this sketch, um, it's just black and some lines to suggest details. This sketch probably took me two hours to draw on location. Yeah. And this is a simplified sketch that took less time to draw. So even though this sketch does not have as much details compared to the Procreate sketch, I still like this sketch. I like the line art and the flat coloring style and most of all I like the simplicity of the style. So this video went on much longer than I expected. If you don't know that Concepts app exists, go check it out. This app is based on a freemium model, which is to say that the basic tools are free. However, if you want more tools, you can pay to unlock some of the tools with a one-time purchase, and it's really worth the money. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye.